Meet Bicycle! Hello everybody! Welcome back to Borderlands, the pre-sequel. Today I've got another badass rank guys for you guys and we're going to be doing Thrill Seeker which is in the veins of Helios. So uh, this is pretty much exactly the same challenge as uh, the guide I brought you a couple of days ago which was the Jump for Joy guide where you had to activate the 10 green jump pads, use all of them and uh, this one is pretty much the same except you've got to go for the blue jump pads. So uh, all of the, the only difference between them is they uh, one has a blue ring and one has a green ring around it so it pretty much pairs up with that and uh, as I said in that video because this is such a um, weird and difficult area I uh, not really gonna go for the full guide where I say right you do this and then you go there and then you do this but uh, literally once again I'm just gonna show you all the locations of these jump pads a quick map reference and uh, hopefully you guys can work it out for yourself and uh, like I said again in that video for jump for joy the, you know there's no real hidden ones there uh, they're not that difficult they're all in the same area and all you've got to do is just run around and look for them and while you're getting the green ones get the blue ones while you're getting the blue ones get the green ones that kind of thing and uh, yeah just uh, have a run around and leap about and you'll find them all it's really really easy so don't worry about that but um, yeah there's pretty much the same amount of blue jump pads as there is green I think there's like just one or two different but there's no hidden ones so just follow what I do and uh, yeah that's basically how you do but uh, as I said in the jump for joy mission I uh, probably will end up doing a little route for you guys uh, if everyone wants one I'll uh, go back and uh, actually plan the best way to do this the quickest way to do this kind of thing but uh, for now it really is as simple as just having a look around and uh, planning where you're going to go next looking where you've been and where you haven't been and uh, yeah using the map obviously helps as well because uh, you know you can see a few of the jump pads on the map um, they're like a little weird shape uh, they don't, not all of them show up really but the only ones you've got to really watch out for is this area where I am now. Um, all the green ones are pretty much in the centre of the map where you can see them and all that. But these last three blue jump pads kind of take you around the outside of the map. And uh, as the challenge said, they are harder to reach, the uh, blue jump pads. But uh, this one does take you quite a way out and around the map. And uh, all it does is uh, take you to the other side of um, where all the other green jump pads are without having to actually go through the uh, main buildings and cycling the airlocks and all things like that just to and fighting all the enemies little things like that but that's it anyway as you can see there is all of the blue jump pads i've just got the challenge complete now and uh, we'll go ahead and check that that has actually come up and we've got it so there we go thrill seeker use all of the difficult to reach blue jump pads 11 out of 11 nice and easy and uh, yeah hopefully this will help you guys for those of you that can't work out um where the last ones are if you can't get them um, I'm pretty sure it'll probably be them ones that I've just been on the last three on the outside because uh, it is quite a difficult one to get to that one but uh, yeah that's Thrill Seeker anyway guys in the veins of Helios another badass rank guide for you guys uh, be sure to check out the link in the description for the playlist for the rest of the badass rank guides they'll all go in there and all the future ones will so uh, if you need any more and you need help with some check them out but for now thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video